There are moments in science when the universe whispers, and moments when it roars. When equations, predictions, and patient measurements guide us forward, step by careful step, and then there are moments when reality simply refuses to obey. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to be our ultimate eye, a 6.5-meter golden mirror tuned to catch the faintest whispers of light from the dawn of time. It was supposed to show us the first stars, the earliest galaxies, the soft glow of creation itself, but instead it found a problem, a problem wrapped in brilliance. A galaxy so impossibly old, so blindingly bright, and so chemically evolved that it shattered the neat, comfortable timeline we had built for the cosmos. For decades, scientists had quietly suspected that the early universe wasn't the calm, empty nursery our textbooks described, that it was chaotic, fast, alive. Now, the confirmation was here. And James Webb had just proved that everything we thought we knew about the beginning was wrong. Back in 2022, we thought we had seen it all. Hubble's crown jewel discovery, GNZ 11, held the record as the most distant galaxy ever observed. It was the farthest our limited optics could reach. Then came Webb. Armed with its massive infrared mirror, perfectly tuned to capture the stretched-out glow of the earliest light, it didn't take long to break records. One of Webb's first observations unveiled a galaxy named Jade's GSZ-10, with a redshift of 14.32. In cosmological terms, that meant this galaxy existed barely 300 million years after the Big Bang. Already an incredible achievement. But then came something else, a galaxy labeled Mom Z14. Slightly older, slightly further, but radically brighter. And that's where things stopped making sense. In theory, galaxies that ancient should be dim, chaotic, and sparsely populated with stars. Mom Z14 wasn't. It was compact just 500 light years across, yet it blazed with newborn stars at a rate no model could explain. This wasn't a struggling baby galaxy. It was a cosmic forge, burning with purpose at the dawn of time. When astronomers looked closer using Webb's spectrograph, the mystery deepened. Galaxies that form stars this quickly are usually anchored by a supermassive black hole, a gravitational engine that regulates growth and fuels bursts of star formation. But MOMZ-14 had none. No central black hole, no X-ray emissions, nothing. It was like discovering a factory that builds without machinery, without power, without even a blueprint. Then came the chemical shock. Webb's analysis revealed a surprising abundance of nitrogen, an element that only appears in high quantities after multiple generations of stars live, die, and scatter their ashes into space. That meant MOMZ-14 wasn't just one of the first galaxies, it was built on top of something even older, something we haven't yet seen. And if galaxies like this existed so soon after the Big Bang, how many more were out there? MOMZ-14 was supposed to be a cosmic accident, a once-in-a-universe fluke, but it wasn't. Webb kept finding them. Bright, ancient galaxies with massive starbursts and rich chemical fingerprints. Galaxies that shouldn't exist according to our models of cosmic evolution. They weren't rare. They were everywhere. And that changed everything. Because it meant our entire understanding of how the universe formed, when galaxies appeared, how long it took for complexity to emerge, was incomplete. If these galaxies formed faster, earlier, and with more structure than we predicted, then the early universe wasn't a dark age. It was a revolution, rapid, explosive almost as if it was trying to organize itself. 
The rules we thought governed the young cosmos, slow formation, gradual development, simplicity, had been replaced by a new picture, one of fierce creation, of rapid chemical cycles, of galaxies that seemed to remember things they shouldn't. In the wake of these discoveries, a question began to spread through the scientific community like a quiet, unsettling rumor. What if the Big Bang wasn't the clean beginning we imagined? What if our universe didn't emerge from nothing, but from something else? Some scientists began reviving an old but radical theory that our entire cosmos could exist inside a black hole. The idea isn't fantasy, it's rooted in how space and time behave around massive objects. When matter collapses into a black hole, it forms a boundary, a horizon beyond which nothing escapes. But what if, beyond that horizon, something begins? A new space-time. A new universe. One that expands from the collapse. In this view, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, it was the rebirth of something else. And every black hole in our universe could be doing the same. Birthing new realms, each with their own laws, their own constants, their own histories. Suddenly, Momsey 14 wasn't just a weird galaxy, it was a relic. A fragment of cosmic memory seeping into our reality. And the universe we observe may just be one layer of something infinitely deeper. Among the strangest anomalies in Webb's growing database is something deceptively simple and yet too powerful to be coincidence. As galaxies are cataloged, mapped, and analyzed, researchers noticed a subtle pattern in their rotation. Galaxies scattered across vast regions of the sky seem to favor a single direction of spin. In a random universe governed by symmetry, there should be no preferred orientation. And yet, the cosmos seems to be whispering a hidden order. Some galaxies should spin clockwise, others counterclockwise. And in a truly random isotropic universe, the distribution should be roughly equal. That's what the models say. That's what symmetry demands. But reality has other plans. A surprising majority of galaxies rotate in the same direction, as if some invisible hand long ago set the entire cosmos into motion with a single twist. This isn't just a statistical quirk, it's a violation of what we believed about large-scale uniformity. This directional bias hints at something deeper, something structural. It raises a possibility that shakes the very foundation of cosmology. The entire observable universe may have an axis, a preferred direction, a cosmic spine running through everything we see. And if such an axis exists, then the Big Bang, that supposed chaotic, directionless eruption, might not have been random at all. It might have been a rotation, a vortex, a spin inherited from a reality that came before ours. As Webb's findings mount and anomalies pile up, a once taboo question is quietly resurfacing in theoretical circles. What if the universe is designed, not necessarily by gods or aliens, but by rules, by constraints, by parameters that seem suspiciously tuned for life, structure, and consciousness? Mom Z14's chemical richness, the premature emergence of galaxies, the mirrored spin of cosmic structures, all of it points to an early universe that behaves less like a chaotic accident and more like an optimized system. The constants of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the speed of light, fall into values so precise that if they were even slightly different, stars could not form atoms could not stabilize, and life as we know it could never emerge. It's not proof of a creator, but it is a growing suggestion that something about our universe wants to be read, that it's legible, 
that it's built not just to exist, but to be observed. Webb's deep field images, in their quiet glow, may be more than snapshots of distant galaxies. They may be reflections of intention, intention encoded into the very fabric of physics itself. And while Webb peers deeper, another theory is gaining momentum, one that dares to suggest the universe we see is not the first, but merely the latest in a cycle of cosmic lives and deaths. That before our cosmos existed, another universe lived, aged, and died, and in its death birthed ours. Supporters of this theory point to the cosmic microwave background, the faint thermal afterglow of the early universe, and claim it hides scars, faint rings, anomalies, concentric echoes, perhaps even the gravitational fingerprints of black holes evaporating in a previous eon. Webb's unmatched sensitivity to faint infrared signals is the perfect tool to test this theory. And what it's beginning to detect are subtle patterns in the background radiation that don't align with standard inflation models. Slight temperature shifts, unexpected alignments, ghosts, not of galaxies, but of universes. If these signals are real, then MOMSI-14 isn't just ancient. It may be older than our universe itself, or the product of processes seeded in another reality entirely. In the face of so much complexity, so much contradiction, a final, haunting idea emerges. What if the universe isn't just evolving, but aware? Some physicists now entertain the possibility that consciousness is not a byproduct of evolution, but a fundamental property of reality itself. That every act of observation collapses quantum uncertainty into reality. That the very act of measurement creates structure. In this model, observers like us are not anomalies. We are catalysts. Webb, then, isn't just a machine collecting photons. It's a tool of the universe observing itself, learning about its origin, its limits, and its purpose through us. Each discovery, each anomaly, each contradiction, they might not be accidents, they might be the point, a feedback loop between cosmos and consciousness. And if that's true, then Momsi 14 isn't just a galaxy, it's a mirror, and for the first time, we've started to recognize our own reflection staring back. For decades, we've suspected that the universe wasn't telling us the whole story, that the models we held dear, the elegant timelines, the predictable constants, the quiet symmetry were just shadows of a deeper truth. Now, James Webb has confirmed it. The early universe wasn't slow. It wasn't simple. It wasn't quiet. It was alive, exploding with light, structure, and complexity at a pace that breaks every rule we thought we understood. Momsi 14 isn't just a galaxy. It's a warning, a revelation, a crack in the timeline that whispers of forgotten eons, impossible cycles, and hidden intelligences. It forces us to reframe the Big Bang, to reconsider the meaning of rotation, to question whether the universe is random or orchestrated. Because this isn't just about stars or redshifts or cold microwave light. This is about why anything exists at all. Why so much appears tuned, connected, conscious. Why the universe behaves as if it's been waiting for someone to look. And now we have. So the real question isn't what Webb has discovered it's what it's about to awaken. And maybe, just maybe, the next anomaly won't just change our understanding of the cosmos, it will change our place within it. If you've stayed with this journey to the edge of what we know, then you're part of the story now. Share your thoughts. Do these galaxies rewrite our cosmic history, or are they the first clues to a far greater mystery we've only begun to glimpse? Like this video if it's made you see the universe in a new light. Subscribe so you're here for the next revelation. And remember, the cosmos is watching, and it's our turn to watch back.